I start rolling on everybody. Yeah, we can be natural, I'll be man. Kind, so I'll be we, kind in a little bit. So where we get, we laugh, and it's okay, man. We just, just, just so at it. this point, I guess just talk about talk about the project. Uh, how did this project start, Mac? And, uh, and then you know, Chili, you can uh, chime in on it, and then you guys can also chime in on it. Oh, vice versa. Oh, vice versa. Chili started, and I chime in. We all chime in. Man. So let's let's talk about that. That's the first thing. Yeah, so Chilly, I'll start I with guess. that question. Yeah, so. Uh, how did the project start? What, how, what was the, the, the <coughs> well, whole, uh, uh, we running, right? motivation behind the project? Yeah, it started because, uh, you know, me and Mac uh, got back in contact with one another, and, you know. Um, you know, we went to work right away, um, coming up with some new heat for the streets, you know, give them something, you know, to, to uh, put us back in the game. So um, we decided to do this uh, trip of this album compilation, you know, with everybody that we've worked with over the years. You know what I'm saying? That we've been connected with two struggling records, and Pops and Click, B Rock, it's, you know, a bunch of other people that, uh, you know, that, that we know in the music industry. And that's what we did, man. Give, give them something, you know, they can feel. Yeah, 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 we said, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Uh, and to that, what you said, so be influenced with that's what it is, man. You know what I mean? We just hooked up, got everybody on board, and uh, started knocking out these songs, and everybody agreed to jump on the project. And, uh, so, that's what we had, man. So, 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 Matt, what was your role in the project? Well, uh, Pepper Chi Red comes to music. Uh, everything. I mean, he, he pretty much, I mean, just, yeah, yeah, me and Matt got off with and everything that we do. Yeah. Hard. Music, production, video, everything. Uh, everything, you know what I'm saying? Just everything. You know what I mean? So, you know, everybody says it's a big part of it, you know what I'm saying? Me and him. So what about Tim and Rob? What do y'all, how do y'all feel about the project? Hey man, you know, whatever my brothers want, I'm going to be there. I'm a brother in arms, man. You need to be there, I'm there, man. So I'm proud to be part of the project. You know, what would the project be without me, B. Rob, all cat that was from the giddy up anyway? You know, you can't have gumbo without the shrimp and the chicken. Yeah, you know, <laughs> sure. <laughs> make it fun, man. Right? Damn. Skits, what, how, how are you connected to the project, or what? Can you talk about what you did for the project? Um, on the project, I did two songs. Um, I've been knowing these guys since, uh, since I was in high school, probably tenth grade, so forever. And it's just, uh, I'm happy to hook back up with them and knock this stuff out the box. Yeah, I've always, I've always been a fan of Skits, man, and we never really um, got a chance to work together back in the day, so um, we reached out and got in contact with her, and you know, uh, you know, decided that uh, she had some heat for the, for the album, and, you know. Actually, me and Mary worked together before on the project, before, so, you know, the history there. Yeah, we've all collabed some, some, at some point over the years. You know, they've all collabed, you know, with either Struggling Records or Hot Pink Clips, like I said, Chili Red Beat. You know, we've been in the game a long time. I'm going to run this interview real quick. Start from B-Rock. B-Rock will tell you a little bit like where he come from, how he's hooked up with these guys, and what he's doing, and how he got kind of hooked up with this, you know what I'm saying, this whole thing. And we're going to be team, we're going to run like that. So B-Rock, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how you, uh, so what's your, what's your background, you know what I'm saying, music, and how you hooked up with these fellas, and all that uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, I've been in the game for for, for a mighty long time myself, you know, my, my background come from the church, you know what I'm saying, and uh, just, just moved on up, you know, moved, stepped it on up the scale, and, and uh, you know, I've been, uh, Chili Red and, and Tim, you know what I'm saying, Mary, I've been knowing them for a minute, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, with Chili Red and Tim, them with Dope Melody, you know what I'm saying, I was doing my thing also, and uh, then, uh, you know, Tim and Chili Red had put the whole kid clip together, that, uh, that album that we had worked on, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, we collaborated on uh, a lot of that material, Hall P and Click. Uh, album was jamming, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, on top of that skit, you know what I'm saying, we, uh, I mean, skits went to school together, so, you know what I'm saying, she was doing her thing with Dope Melody, you know what I'm saying, concerts were going on. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, I hooked up with Cool Mac, who right. Chitter Red and Tim, you know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, man, just making it happen, you know, everything that's been coming together as far as it's our time to shine. Album man, it's it's hot man. I mean it's a, a lot of different flavors and stuff on there man. And uh, you know, uh, me myself, you know, I'm also working on my project, which is called uh, uh, B Rob Resurrected. You know, my R&B project. 
uh, but you know what I'm saying, we we all collab on it, you know, making this thing happen, man, and this great music being made, uh, the way it's been put together by Chitty Red, Mag, Tim, myself, and Mary, and, and everybody else that's a part of the, uh, uh, part of that, that's going to be on the album, I mean, man, it's, it's hot, but uh, yeah, that's... That's pretty much uh, you know, how we pretty much hooked up. All right. So, B, I know that you do production, and I know yes, that, you right. do, uh, uh, that you also sing. Can you yeah. talk about a little bit about how you create a song or how you put things together when you're in the studio? Well, when I put things together in the studio, it's, if something comes to my mind, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's like, you know, my mind just be going, you know what I'm saying? So, if I feel it, and it, you know, I just go ahead and start making a beat right there and there, you know what I'm saying? I make beats all the time, but, you know, when I'm feeling something real tough that I really like, you know, I go on and start mashing on it then as, as far as I make the beat first, and then I come back, and as I'm making the beat, things are going on my in, in my head to where I'm already, you know, it's just like I'm writing it inside my head. So once uh, once I finish the beat, you know, I collab on it a little bit, listen to it as, uh, as I'm writing it down and, uh, you know, let's go from there. So I know that you sing, do you also rap? Uh, no, I don't really rap, you know what I'm saying? My, my thing is R&B, you know. You can't so. though. You can't <laughs> though. I lead, I lead a rap to my man, Tim, Skids, <laughs> cool right. back and chillin' you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it just, it's just a beautiful thing, man, to be uh, a part of this, you know, this what's going on, man, it's our time to shine. Right. It just, you know, just a good feeling, man. So Tim, you want to talk about your background, your musical background, and how you got into the whole music thing? Man, that goes. Man, that's gonna show my age, brother. <laughs> Go keep Tim. You know, man, I go back with this music all the way back. You know, like I say, like, like with the rap and the, and the, and the break dance came together. And uh, once the break dance kind of faded, I got into the, going to uh, Rosewood Saragossa for the little MC contest and stuff. Hooked up with Cam Production with Kurt out Craig Wood. He's the first producer to put me down in, in the studio. And uh, Cam Productions and I got trying to find my way in this game. Accidentally bumped into this cat right here on the city bus. Him and T Double was the T. Yeah, uh, they was on the way. How old were you back then? Man, 14, 15, something like that. 14, 15, man. Shout out to the home, hometown yeah, like, kids. What's the T? Yeah, yeah, Double, man. Part of the original Dope Melody. And Don Jennings. Yeah. And uh, from there, we hooked up into the studio. And first time being in the studio like they did. And from there, it's been on. I became part of Dope Melody. And, uh... And as we grew up and things changed with these times and stuff, man, uh, we kind of started going towards a little more of a street vibe, you know, me and Chitty Red. And uh, we dope melody, and from there it took off the Hall Pin Productions, the Hall Pin Click. My nephew Dre, my cousin Big Cheese, Bobby Ray came about, put those vocals on it, man, it just became awesome, man, you know. And still to this day, me and Bobby Ray got some kind of chemistry. I can't put my pen on the man when we get together. I, I, that's what's you know up, what I'm <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and this is what it is. Crew Mac been knowing him since the 90s, man. Uh, he came through. My cousin Jerry got the EPS. He came over there. We started bouncing on the keys, Ebony and I, ever since then, man. So he fell off for a minute. We didn't know where he was. I see him every now and then. We were jumping one day. I said, like, man, what's up, baby? You know, you know I'm going to keep 100. But Mac's a 100 dude, man. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. So uh, I know you were talking about your history. So you said Dope Melody, and then so who was a part of Dope Melody? It was actually Don Jennings, Chili Red, and T Double. When I hooked up with them cats, they they brought me in with Welcome Arms, man, and I've been part of that. Don Jennings went his separate, T Double with some T went his separate, and me and Chili Red stuck it out. And Dope Melody became still Dope Melody, but we branched off to different things that's going on out here. Cause I'm more been always been a street type of dude, man. You know, I keep my hustle on the grind. So it is what it is. So then, then y'all, then how did how, how pin click? How pin click, man. You know, when I set my feet down in the how pin, man. Uh, uh, we needed a, a new name because things were different at that time. And uh, and we clicked tight. Played out the how pin from Kareem to Kenyatta. You know, Big Young to Eleven, the Blackwater click. How pin click was a with a spin-off from Dope Melody. See, there's nothing that will go on without Dope Melody. Right. And everything else you see from Hall Pen, Blackwater Click, all of them, man, uh, 14K, uh, SP and Hardhead, you know, mm -hmm. everything spin off of Dope Melody. Right. And Hall Pen Click is the hood that we represent because that's where it go down at. And from there it is what it is. So wh where does the name, how, how did the name Hall Pen Click come about? 
Uh, one day we was at the studio, man. It was always been Hall Creek Productions since like about 94, 95. That was the production area where we put the music together where you made the different groups. But Hall Pin Click came about when my nephew Dre and my cousin Big Chief, uh, Sean Harris, came through one day and they come up to my detail shop and we was like messing around the back, she red doing his thing. And we say, man, you know, we're gonna name it Hall Pin Click because this is what we click up at in the hood, the Hall Pin. It's been that ever since, man. So the hood, the hood is called Hog Pen, right? That's right. So where does that name come from? Shit, that go way back to our grandmammies and grandpappies, man. That's a, that's that's an origin right there, man. <laughs> Folks raising hogs over there, man. That used to be a way of life for a lot of people over there. You know, it's in that type of lifestyle and died off of a raising hogs to feed people's families. So by showing some type of uh, you know up for that, man. And, it's like Hall Pen, we're gonna let their name rain on because there's a lot of people that take care of their family out of the Hall Pen. Really. What's up? Mm -hmm. right. So, how, what, what, what inspires you to do this music? What do you get your inspiration from? I think, from? I think it's just in my, my blood to, to love it, man. I'm not the best rapper in the world, but I know I feel it. I got love for it. You know, I come from an era where it was about rapping before the money. You know what I'm saying? It was just about. Talking about somebody from their head, their toes, making it rhyme. You know what I'm saying? The so, art, the art, the of, art of the music. Yeah. So I'm not. I don't care about trying to be the best or be the king or something. I just like want to put my stamp on whatever I do. My brain. Right. That's what's up. So what about you, Chili? I know you do. You had a lot of the production. Behind, you're behind the boards. Talk about your evolution as a producer. Where you started, what you were messing with, and then where you at now um, with your production. Well, like Tim said, uh, you know, we started Dope Melody. Uh, me and uh, T.W. Tony Johnson back at uh, Keaton Junior High. And uh, it was there I learned to, um, you know, work work the beat machines and the, um, the samplers and the, and the turntables and whatnot. And I started um, DJing house parties and, you know, rocking the spot. And then, of course, you know, I always kept an instrumental in my pocket, pull it out and let Tim rock it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, uh, yeah, from there, man, I just, I, I've always loved music, man, as far as the, the um, creation of it, you know, the beat making, the sounds, the, the, the cuts, the way the vocals are, are, are laid and, and whatnot, so, you know, I got deep into that as far as doing production, making beats, and equipment, hooking up, and then when I met my musical brother, um, um, Cool Mac, uh, it was a whole nother world because he brought that musical flavor into the group, you know, he used to play in the band back in Oakland and whatnot, so, you know, those two forces combined created its own sound, you know, it's always going to be dope melody, but um, as I started working with all these other artists over the years, you know, I, I needed more power behind just dope melody because everything would be, you know, all my flavors. It's all about growth. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, and he helped me to expand as well. You know, we push each other when we're making tracks, you know, man, let's try something different, man. Well, hey, I'm gonna do this right here, and all, uh, or we can always go back to that same old 50-50 production, you know, gangsta bang it in the oh, trunk man. type track. But, you know, we try to branch out and give the people something different to listen to, you know, be more creative in, in the arts of it, man. So who handles the drum production? Well, but that mostly comes from me, Tim Red Beats. That's the that's the base of the whole production mm -hmm. because you know that I've always had that that sound. You know, I create my own sound when it comes to the music that that encapsulates you and pulls you into the track, not just you know you rapping and skipping along on top of the beat. You gotta get in there and dodge those drum tracks when they hit you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For those who don't know, what those uh, dope melodies stand for stand for those. Powerful entertainment, yeah. uh, mixed with the melody. That's D O P E. You know what I'm saying? So you were just talking about your musical brother, man. What What do you think makes Mac um, a good fit for Struggling Records for, for you to work with? Why, I mean, how, how do y'all work together? How do y'all handle well, everyday uh, man, duties? Me and Mac, we we be on the same page, man. We're on the mm -hmm. same page when it comes to anything mm -hmm. we do. And we, from day one, when we first um, met back in '93. You know, when he was with um BW Rap with Hot Cap and Records, you know, um, you know, we we met and we went to work right away. We came together like like peanut butter and jelly, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I'll drop a beat, Mac will come with some chords or bass line, then I'm gonna feed on something, and he's gonna feed on something, and 
Well, you know that track is in outer space. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people really can't um, understand our style of music because you know they say it's um, it's it's an old, it sounds like an old beat or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We're just creating our own brand. We're not trying to be like everybody else and do, you know come out with all this other stuff. But this is the type of music that we do. This is every time we step and put our hands on the keys. This is what we bring. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's dope. It's just, it's so Mac, what about production on your end? What, what, wait, wait, first, I need a drum roll, please, first. No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, no, nah, by me coming from the old, uh, coming from the old school, playing the band, I started playing all the instruments. That's where I come from. You know what I mean? How many so, instruments can you play? Uh, well, I, I want to start the top of my head, maybe about eight. Prince, yeah. So, <laughs> and, uh, and like I said, I came to Texas. You know, what I'm saying I got with High Cat from Red, Rest in Peace, passed away. And she read them, stopped by the studio. I watched her. She read was getting down. I said, man, I like this dude right here, man. So I stepped outside the studio and I gave my number. He said, man, come out in the hall, pen, man. I said, I will, man. So I rolled by there one day, man, and he was in his room, man. He went to work. He said he went to work right away, man. He started messing, and uh, he was out to this day, man. You know what I'm saying? Kicking butt. Kicking drop work. like, drop like three projects. In the matter of the year. Yeah, so we did a lot of work, man. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I met all the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? The family and stuff like that, too. So, you know what I mean? So, so Mac, talk about Chili's production and Chili as, uh, as one of your, uh, you know, one of your right hand men. Oh, my God. Chili, what can I say, man? What, what, what does he do on the day to day? Oh, man. He's my job easy. <laughs> he's my job easy, man, to tell you the truth, because, uh, you know what I'm saying? He be, you know, he do stuff I don't care to do, pushing them buttons and stuff like that, man, and the beats, and the, you know what I'm saying? I usually work the spots, you know what I'm saying? The beats is banging, it make me sound good, make me look good, you know what I mean? She made me put in work, man, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, what I'm looking for is uh, underrated, man, because you know, he put in work, man, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully, with this right here, he's gonna get all the shine he deserves, you know what I'm saying? Because he put in work, man, you know what I'm saying? The, guy, the guy's dope, you know what I'm saying? He's my dude, man, you know what I'm saying? He's dope. Yeah. Let me stop there for a little bit. So, Skits, talk about your, your history, your, your, you know, how you came to meet the rest of the clique. Um, I've been rapping forever, since I was eight years old. Um, I looked up with them, like I said, in high school, like about 10th grade, just doing shows all the time. Back at, uh, Doris Miller. Yeah, Doris Miller. And, you know, of course, way back then, they had talent shows everywhere. Shout out to the fellas, yeah. Yeah, shouts out to the fellas. <laughs> wow. Um also um I've been doing lots of projects on my own since way back then. Um What part you got? Like what kind of projects you put out? Um I work with Now or Never. I did projects with A Town Variety Records, projects with Big Baby Records. Um I did projects of my own. Uh, I work with a lot of different artists, Nook, Misdemeanor, um, Fudge, also known as Fly E, back in the days from the fellas. Um, I work with these guys. Um, I worked with a lot of Austin artists and some artists that don't actually live here. I had a project from a DJ called Precious Cut. I was put on an underground CD called um, Underground Queen. Um, I've just been working on a lot of things and I'm working on a new project also. So i just been trying to do my thing up in A-Town, Austin, 512. So, so what's been your experience working with uh, Struggling Red, just Chili Red and the guys? Um, what's that experience like? It's great because they let you do their your own thing plus, you know, they also want to make you happy. So, you know, you do your own thing. They take all your input and they give you little pointers here and there, and you know just collab together so everybody's happy on both sides. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Anything else y'all want to say? Anything y'all else y'all want to talk about? Yeah, let's talk about real quick the project. What is what, what's going on? Um, okay, so let me ask the question. Okay. <laughs> um, can y'all talk about the project? It's our time to shine. Um, well, the project is a uh, triple disc compilation album, um, over 160 minutes worth of music, plus a DVD, 
um, with behind the scenes footage, videos, and um, hopefully this interview. Um, um, it's a collaboration of all the people that we've known and worked with over the years throughout Austin, Texas, and some surrounding cities, Houston, Louisiana, um, uh, Fayetteville, and Atlanta. And, um, man, we decided to um, just hit the streets real hard with some heat, you know what I'm saying? Give them, a, give them something that they can feel, um, plenty of music. Um, so we went right to work and created like over 60 tracks, you know, that got um, dispersed throughout the different artists on, this, on the album. Um, 211, Bubba, Fomeco, Phil Doc, you know what I'm saying, Hard Head, Beware, Freaky Tail, Lil Alex Chavez and the Reagan High School Band, OG Fatal, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we got Tim, B. Rob, you know, they did a, a, a collaboration, Skip did his track, you know, um, <clears throat> it's basically spread out um, throughout the track to, to give you a different flavor of all the um, different artists in Austin and the different styles that they um, can bring. But it's a, um, a struggling records project, so most all the music is 50 feet. You know, I did some solo tracks on my own because, you know, I had um, went right to work as far as create coming up with different beats to be able to have a variety to give to the different artists so they can uh, you know work on that work on the, on the album and, you know just giving everybody a chance to shine man show them what we can do down here so like now it's our time to shine the time is now and a 50 50 is me and Chill Red you know you bring 50 to the tail bring 50 to the tail is what we call 50 50 views production so I'm going to that uh, what we call 50 50 views production and Chill Red beats is for so, you know, hard entertainment, you know what I'm saying, and, um, all the entertainment, so yeah, yeah. So, so, Matt, what inspired you to get on the project and do Triple Disc? Whose idea was it about the Triple Disc? Yeah, Too Red, man. Too Red, call me, man. We got we got a whole bunch of stuff in the, in the studio, Pear Track Studio, me and him, we got a, another, uh, like, four albums in the studio, we're sitting, about to do something like that, too. So, uh, I was just the, the songs in the studio one day, and out of, out of nowhere, Too Red called me one day, you know what I'm saying? He said, Matt, come out of the studio, and he's gonna take me out, so I came by, and like I said, it went to work right away. You know what I'm saying? The, the flavor was right, the, the, the chemistry was right there. We went right back to work right away. And then, of course, you know what I'm saying? As we were working, he said, Man, I had an idea, man, about you know, about this project, it's our time to shine. And that's how it all came about. So we went to work, man, so like I said, so I let all these songs out and started, you know what I'm saying, getting everybody to give me songs and we went right, right, right to work. Man. It actually started as just being a, um, giving them some. You know, uh, releasing something because we haven't uh, released anything in a while. So we was in the midst of working with this compilation album. You know, we, we got in touch with a lot of people and sent out invites to uh, participate. And we got such a big response that we had to make it a triple disc. We had to put at least 30 songs on there with, with over 20 something different artists on there. Yeah. So that's like, can y'all talk about the Austin hip hop scene? What's the climate like right now in Austin? And, and with hip-hop music. Me, myself, personally, I don't know because I haven't been on the scene in the game, but I'm part of an old-school cat, you know, uh, I'm not really into skinny jeans, no jizz, thing, but you know, the cats that represent that type of flavor, but, you know, I need to get back in the groove of things. That's why when we drop this album, we get back in and see what we need to tighten up in. Because, but I'm not going to change my flow because other people doing their thing, I'm not sticking to what I do. That's what's up. Yeah, man, I, um, as far as the hip-hop scene, you know, there's a, there's a lot going on in Austin, believe it or not, for the hip-hop scene. Um, just not for the underground hip-hop, and, you know, and that's what I represent, you know what I'm saying, the, the, um, the real stuff when it comes to the, um, the street and, and, you know, the um, raw talent that, that's um, undiscovered out here, you know what I'm saying, and that's why I play my role as far as, um, Still doing my thing, banging my beat, and then you know, um, dealing with a lot of different artists in Austin who, who um, do underground rap and can't get that exposure that um, you know the Austin hip hop scene you know may have had because it, it's a real hard step um, to get in the Austin hip hop scene. Um, nowadays they got it easy, they didn't have it like they did back when you know we were coming up in the hip hop. Yeah, you know, tapes and yeah, yeah. Out the trunk. Yeah. Yeah. 
go to radio stations, yeah. gotta go hear the struggle, man. Yeah. 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 This is, I mean, it's a lot of talent. It's a lot of talent in Austin. And this is, you know, one of the ways of, uh, you know, with, with Chitter Red and Mac. Uh, putting this It's Our Time to Shine uh, album out, you know, all of the, you know, all the artists that's, you know what I'm saying, that's in Austin, they get a time, you know, they get a chance to be heard on this album, which is great, it, it, it's great for, uh, for all underground hip-hop and R&B singers, you know what I'm saying, that's, uh, that's around because it is a lot of talent down here in Austin, Texas that haven't been discovered, but, uh, we got a lot of talent. It's our time. We got a lot of talent. Right. And that's where the, that's where the whole concept, it's our time to shine, came from. Because, you know, we feel that it's our time, man. We've been doing this too long yeah. and, and too hard. And, man, song is jamming. And, shh. And yeah. Everybody is on fire. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. So, in y'all's opinion, if everyone can chime in on this, what's it going to take for Austin to go to the next level? Come in. Unity. Unity. Yeah. I just, say, I just say a fat record, man. A fat record, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if you hate or not. You, you got a fat record, man, you know what I'm saying? You can't help but to rock with it, you know what I'm saying? It'll blow up. You, know you don't saying? think we have that already? No. I mean, what? you don't think Austin has a lot of great music already? I'm saying a great music. I'm talking, I'm talking about that one hot that, that record, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a but it's all it's also about coming together. Yeah, I think and, you know, it's all it's all about coming together. If you, look, everything. if you look around, you know, if you look around the world, you know, you look at Houston, you look at Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, you look at New York, they all work you know together. what I'm saying, they are supporting, yeah, they they're, they're supporting their community, not only that, they're supporting their artists that's, right. that's uh, uh, you know, that's there, so that's they're true. supporting each other, once, you know, and once we start to do that, once Austin start to do that as a whole, you know what I'm saying, I, see, I, I can see it coming together now, but it's going to take that, it's going to take that unity, and it's going to take the city coming together, supporting one another. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's what we're doing here now. That's why we collaborated to put this project together to, to show, to you know, they, they so you got a lot of different artists back in the day that's on this album that wasn't collaborating with anybody in the clique back then because my clique is better than your clique. We don't make yeah. you because you live, you crib, you whatever. Whatever situation yeah. keeps you separate and divided yeah. instead of coming together. This right. project right here is bringing folks together because the people that mess with Fatal, his demographic is going to come mess with that because he's on that. Right. Anybody who mess with Skids, mess yeah. with her demographic coming over here, so right. it's a combined effort. Right. Right. At the end of the day, it's all about politics and yeah. politics, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So there's a saying that says, if it doesn't exist, build it, create it. Yeah. We'll yeah. yeah. And what are y'all's thoughts on, on, because I see you guys as pioneers, you know, getting together, bringing people together and building it. What, what's been y'all's experience with that and how much more do y'all got to go, I mean, as far as the future of Austin music? I say, I feel, yeah, they gonna never stop. Yeah, keep grinding, keep on the tour, you know what I'm saying? You're mm -hmm. never too old to do what you love, you know what I'm saying? That's right. right. And you know, and a, lot, a lot of people feel like you get a certain age, you need to say, oh man, you too old to be rapping. <laughs> well, you too old to be rapping about the same shit you rapped about 10 years ago. And I always you know say, saying, you don't have an age. No, 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 you don't have an age, no, no, you know what I'm saying? Good music never has an age. No, never. Good music never, never has an age. Never. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's good, people are going to continue to listen to it yeah. because it's, it's their preference. You know what I'm saying? Whatever your preference, that's what you're going to jam. I don't and if like, it's something hot, yeah. you know, hey, I mean, it is what it is. I downloaded Smokey Robinson last night. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, real. Real talk. Real talk. Mm -hmm. So what, are, what are the singles y'all plan to start pushing first? And... Uh, how do y'all plan to promote the project? Um, well, we just dropped the, uh, the um, first single off the It's Our Time to Shine. Um, um, Turn Up in the Club, um, My Baby Mama, you know, Turn Up in the Club, which is uh, featured uh, Tim Short, um, um, Don Donovan, and Cedric Mason from Flow Mob, you know, he's also on the album. Um, and we're going to push that single, My Baby Mama, with 211. B. Rob and Fameko, you know, they're on the single as well. We, we just um, shot the video for um, Turn Up in the Club. It's going to be released. Um, and that's really the first uh, single coming off the Triple Disc album, man. We want to go ahead and get this project um, wrapped up and get it out to the streets, man. Because, hey, when you hear it, psh, them songs yeah. back to back, yeah. 160 minutes, two discs. Yeah. Send a shout right. out. Send a shout out to my daughter Brown Robinson because she's on that uh, turn up in the club yes, too. Yes, <laughs> she's on some Johnny Brooks. Yes, yeah, sir. Singing. 
Yes. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, you know, like There's so much flavor on this album, man. <laughs> Yeah. I guess Tim, anyone you want to shout out or thank as far as musically, your musical brothers? I want to, first of all, a brother that helped me out a long time ago when it comes to having an experience back. Did him this music, I want to shout out to Wicked Cricket Wicked Danny Priest. Yeah, yeah that's what's and, up, man. And uh, I hope our prayers with him and his family, what they're going through, and yeah. all will be well. And, uh, Big shout out to my nephew Dre from TP3 doing his thing. He took what he learned from Hall Pink Click and doing his own thing with TP3. Yeah, Pink Big Chief, Flo yeah. Boogie and them. Uh, other cats out of Third Good, the cats down there that I know, man. Just everybody out of Austin that's ever trying to make it, you know. Uh, my, my boy, like Family Lee Crime Boss, he's one of my good partners down there. You know, there's a lot of people I, I can go all day long. I just send love to everybody right now. Yeah, that's what's up. Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to, first of all, I want to thank God, you know what I'm saying, for blessing me and, and allowing me and giving me all the talents that he has given me to put in play. Uh, next, you know, I just want to thank, you know, everybody. I'd like to thank my brothers in the music right here, you know what I'm saying, Chill Red, Tim, uh, Cool Mac, and all the rest of the guys that I've been, you know, collaborating with, doing music with, uh, you know what I'm saying, I'd like to give a shout out to Doug Springs out there, my boys out, out, uh, out south. All my homies out north, you know what I'm saying? All my boys on the east, Elgin, Texas, you know what I'm saying? And, and just everybody around the world, Houston, Texas, that, you know what I'm saying, that's been supporting me and what I do in my R&B uh, R move, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, that's pretty much, much it for me. About you, Chili? Oh, man, I just want to um, thank everybody for participating on the project, you know, coming in. Um, Putting work in the studio, you know, dropping the vocals and writing to the songs and whatnot. And, uh, um, um, basically, just thanking everybody, man, especially our fans on Facebook and yeah. Instagram and whatnot, you know, because they, they um, support what we're doing yeah, and whatnot. No doubt. Yeah, shout out to all of them, you know, uh, Black Diamond Mind Management, um, Boss Circle, Boss Model, you know what I'm saying? Um, Ricky Treasures, you know what I'm saying? We send a shout out to all the people that you know support us. So, I think I just want to get into this a little bit about the style. What, how would you describe your style of production? My style of production? Yeah. Man, you know, I, 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 I format my style, you know, after my man Dre. You know, that's my idol right there. Can't nobody touch him when it comes to that production and, and his beats and whatnot. So, you know. I strive to be like him, you know what I'm saying? Bang the beat, you know what I'm saying? Bang it to the burn burnout. Make it rough. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, you know what, man? My, my, my mixture of music is more so, I love music. I love all types of music. You know, I listen to everything. And so, just like on my album that we'll be dropping next month, or uh, Be Raw Resurrected, you know, it's all kind of flavor on there. I'm all over the album. You know, I got something slow, I got some, you know, Southern Soul, some hip hop, R&B, gospel, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, all, I'm all over the album, but I mean, it's something on there that everybody can feel. Right now, you know, my selfies, uh, uh, song, I, a song I wrote called You Got Me Taking Selfies, it's, uh, it's on YouTube now. If you, if you go to it and put in B space rock space selfie and put it up and check it out, and that's the first single that's uh, that's off my album and it's hot. The song got a lot of potential. Yeah, it's, it's hot, man. So you know what I'm saying. I just, you know to God be the glory, man. And I just enjoy doing music, man, and, and giving the people something they can hear. You know what I'm saying, something that they can feel and, and listen to. So you know that's that's what I'm about, man. Just you know giving the people something to hear, listen to, it and enjoy. It, you know. What about you, Tim? How'd you describe your style, your music? I just try to embrace every style there is. You know, there's so many people that I can look up to as a musical rapper and singer. I love Ice Cube. I love Scarface. You know what I'm saying? All the guys who tell the truth and make it rough. Yeah. That's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I like R. Kelly because he, he brings that type of style. Or, you know, he make a rapper want to slow it down a little bit, you know? Yeah. So it's a lot of people I can send shout out, but the main one I, I think I like. 
out of everybody, mainly Q. Also starring Detroit with his new video and single. So, um, how do y'all plan to promote the project? What's, what's that going to look like? Um, well, we're, we're, uh, once it gets dropped, we're having a uh, album release party at Midtown Live on the Sports Bar. And then um, we also uh, plan on doing an um, album signing. Um, the, um, right now, we got the spotlight at, at Club at um, Austin, Austin's Backyard, you know what I'm saying, on MLK. So we can um, showcase um, a lot of the um, songs off the album. And, uh, we're, we're getting ready to do big things. We also got a, uh, a live um, audio and video commercial, both for um, video and um, on the radio um, that we're being um, going to promote and push in it. Um, Oh yeah, posters, t-shirts, you know, the whole line on as far as the street team is concerned. Posters, t-shirts, singles, you got DVDs. Yeah, the internet, Yeah, DVDs and all that. Yeah, and then when, you know, once the album drops here, we'll be available, you know, all across the internet, all across the world. Man, the biggest challenge that we're facing is um, timing. timing, man. Yeah. Getting everyone, to, you know, to come in and, 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 and scheduling their time, cause you know nobody's laying on their mama's couch anymore. Yeah, everybody's yeah. either working or yeah. You know? so, yeah. Yeah, sir. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs>